Hi, I'm Dave Epstein, and on today's edition of Growing Wisdom, we're talking some of the evergreens like these yews and the problems they can have if you don't water them late enough into the season. And we're here today with Ken Mayer of Weston Nurseries. And Ken, this is not a new variety of a taxus, is it? No, it isn't. This is your standard taxus densiformis spreading yew. Next to it is a, another form of yew. This is showing the luscious green that you would like your evergreens to go into the winter with. This unfortunate friend here is showing discoloration. So Ken, what does this color indicate to you? That this poor friend here lost water during this late summer going into the fall and it's going to have a number of issues going into next spring. If the plant roots are frozen and the evergreens are exposed to sunlight, they will transpire moisture. There's no replenishment from the root system because the root system is frozen, so there's no motion of food or water or nutrients back and forth within the plant. Coming into next spring when the temperatures get to be about 50 degrees, this will be wanting more moisture. There won't be moisture available. This thing will drop maybe 20% of its needles. Ken, when a plant looks like this in late fall, is this an indication that I want to really soak it to give it water for spring? Absolutely. You want to look at at least twice a week where you saturate the root ball. You want to put your hose on trickle where it basically puddles and that water action will go underground, ultimately teardrop out and saturate the whole root mass area. As you water each time, you're moving the hose from side to side on the plant to form a new teardrop, adding water to the root system. There's no runoff. The water goes exactly where you need it. And if you're on city water, you're not paying enormous water bills. And what would I do next spring if it does look like this and drops its needles? Just cut it back to where it's green? Don't cut it back yet because there's still food in the stems. The plant will let you know when the stems are no longer useful because it'll go like a gray brown on you. Cut back about a half inch below where the gray line is so you have a new fresh cut and then the plant should do fine. Ken, the best way to prevent something like this, whether it's a new plant or an existing plant in the yard, is what? Just monitoring your water levels. You water till you can't stand it anymore when it's so cold and the ground's frozen, but do it one more time and that way you're assuring yourself that you're going to have enough moisture for the plant to go through the winter. Ken, thank you very much. This was very helpful. And folks, plants really do communicate with you. They let you know when you need to water them. Watch them closely. They will tell you. And keep watering up until that ground is frozen. And also come back every week for all of our videos here at Growing Wisdom.